In today's video, I am going to be breaking down how you can take a charge in basketball and of course the things that you can do right so that you do get that charge call, but also some of the bigger mistakes that players make when they try and take a charge but then get called for a block. There's a This is one of the most controversial uh, topics of basketball because everyone has a different rule because NBA has different rules as FIBA and high school has different rules than everyone else and it just seems so hard so I'm going to really break it down as to what you can do to go across all platforms to know exactly what a charge is. Okay so I'm going to start with one of the most controversial charges in the game so far and that is of course this right here. So this was called a charge in this all-star game Kyle Lowry had an absolute ridiculous amount of charges and of course he Spike Lee was very mad okay I was joking he was actually very happy because he's the type of guy who loves taking charges or at least people who take them coaches love players who take charges okay so why was this called a charge well of course yes Kyle Lowry tried to reach in missed the ball hit the leg technically could have also been called a reach however the reason why he got called for the charge or at least James Harden got called for the charge is because if we look at Kyle Lowry's feet and we look at his overall body you're gonna see that he was balanced he was not re or his shoulders were not past his feet his body was not moving left or right or even backwards and because his feet were planted to the ground and James Harden's shoulder were was past his foot this was called a charge of course it helps that Kyle Lowry fell and flailed his arms now this next charge I can almost 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 100% say that would have been called a block at the youth level. However, at the NBA level, like the refs tend to have sometimes better eyes. Not always. And of course, why was this called a charge? Well, he was standing with his feet both planted and his body was almost perfectly straight up. He then fell. We don't always have to fall on a charge. And that is why that one was called a charge. However, because at the youth level, the referee may have seen this left foot slide slightly at the last second before it got planted, right before he got hit, that could have been called a block at the youth level. A great way of taking a charge is, of course, from as a help defender. So in this case, he's helping from ball side, which is usually something that you do not do. Usually it's from the opposite side. However, so many players will try to play help defense and block a shot. However, if you're somebody like Kyle Lowry, somebody who may not be the tallest guy on the team to block shots, the most useful thing you can do is to take a charge, get those feet planted, Stand straight up, get balanced, don't lean forward or to the side, and you are going to be one heck of an amazing defender. You can even take charges out on the perimeter. Here we can see right there that he was able to get right in front of Jimmy Butler while he was dribbling towards that right side. You can take charges out on the perimeter easily. All you need to do is have fast enough feet to get in front of them, plant both of them, and then of course fall right after as soon as they hit you. Now, what about some of the mistakes? that players make for example here where he got called for the block well if we zoom in we can actually see why yes his feet technically could have been classified as planted however at the last second when he got hit he was still sliding his right foot if he just planted that foot right there and just said you know what I'm not moving any farther I'm gonna take this charge he could have taken that charge however he moved that right foot just at the last second and that was then deemed a bat blocking foul even though he got hit in the face by the knee now we're gonna see Danny Green in this clip or at least what looks to be Danny Green and he gets called for the blocking foul and of course <laughs> that was a massive dunk by Cousins the reason why this was classified as a blocking foul is because he was essentially still moving at the time even though his feet were still planted his body was not straight it was slightly angled and he was still trying to get straight to take that charge. Because of that, he was classified as a block. We can see it right here where he was angled and trying to get straight for the charge, but that just didn't work for him. 
And of course, that was a blocking foul. And then of course, if you play in a league, for example, in FIBA or in the NBA, as an example, this may look like a charge. However, he was straight up, his feet were planted. However, he was called for the block. Why? We will actually have to go back to this clip right here. And the reason is, is his left foot was inside of that half circle. And that is essentially an area of the court where you just automatically get called for the blocking foul. You have to stay out of it to take a charge. I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe. As we know, now we can take a charge in basketball and make your coaches extremely happy. I'll see you guys again next time.